A very good morning to you, good afternoon, and good evening. Wherever you are watching from, welcome to Biology Practical 2024, West African Examination Council. This is a special examination for West Africa countries. My name is Jerome Otiti. You are free to subscribe to my channel by clicking the icon button. It's free of charge. Let's go down to the lesson. Okay, these are the things that will be provided by the teacher or school. And as a student, you have to provide this for yourself. These are the specimen A, B, C, D, and E. F to R. There's a pictorial view of some of the specimen that will be covered in this lesson. Specimen A is geese of fish. Geese of fish. In biology, diagram is very necessary. You will see question like, draw specimen A 10 to 12 centimeter. You have to make sure your drawing is within that range and uh, your lines of labor must be ruled horizontally with a ruler and your diagram must have a title. In YEC marking guide, you will see diagram or drawing. Any of them is okay. Diagram and drawing of specimen A. You put this to put the, the name of the specimen, and you must include magnification. This is the uh, life uh, fresh structure of specimen A for easy observation. Now, this questions is meant for specimen A. For example, identify specimen A, gill or fish or fish geese, any of them that is present, any of them will be will score in the marking guide. What is the what is the function of specimen A? What is the function? Is for gas exchange or respiration. Specimen A can be used in which habitat? Don't just say aquatic habitat, it must be specific. It must be specific. River, stream, lake, pond, sea and ocean uh which the organism that possesses that possess um, specimen a it will be asked to classify it and in for secondary school curriculum they normally ask for phylum and class if it's an animal the phylum is codata and the class is species which means fish state the structural feature presence what is the structural features? You have gill rakers, gill arc, gill lamella, gill filament. They are present. Uh, specimen B. Specimen B is a whole liver from a domestic fowl. Whole liver means all the liver. And uh, you have the right liver loops. And uh, this is the left liver loops. And with a gallbladder, with a gallbladder, that. This is the fresh structure. This is the fresh structure. Uh, like the diagram, the diagram of it. Now, there are some questions here. Identify specimen B. You have to identify liver of a domestic fowl with a gold bladder. Observable features. Observable features. Or uh, well, how do you know it's a liver? It's because it's moist. Presence of uh, the observable features when you observe the specimen, you can see moist, moist surface. You can see gallbladder present. It's reddish brown in color. It has two loops, two liver loops present. Stay the phylum, stay codata and apes. What is the main function of the gallbladder attached to the specimen? B is to store. Uh, are concentrated by, produced by the liver. Uh, what is the location of this specimen B? 
the liver is found in abdominal cavity. Abdominal cavity we call abdominal cavity. Now specimen specimen B. Uh, the 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 what is the functions? What is this function of specimen B? That is what's the function of liver. There are so many functions like by-production and storage, detoxification, metabolism, immune function, any of these. Why I could not ask you to list all of them? At least two is okay. Specimen C lungs from a domestic fowl. Lungs. Uh, the fresh view. This is the fresh view. Um, the the diagram it must have a title. This is the lungs, the the right and the left lungs. And this this in this my diagram, heart is present, but heart is not part of it. Um, just like heart to be present here. Okay. Um, you cannot. This is what make up the respiratory system, but in, in terms of focus, you focus on the right and the and the left, the right and the left lungs. Now, observable features. What do you observe? It is moist. That is this talking about the observable features and the adaptive. What is the function of this? Uh, the moist surface. It's moist. Yes, it is moist. What is for function? For easy the di diffusion of gases or gas exchange, thin wall to make diffusion easy. It's rich supply with blood vessels uh, and blood capillaries. Um, it has large surface area to increase the rate of diffusion of gases. Uh, characteristic features of specimen C from domestic fowl. What is the characteristic features? As I have listed up there, surface area. They are moist, thin wall membrane, rich supply with blood, and it's highly permeable for gases. Highly permeable. Uh, the, the question now, where is the lungs located? If each specimen C is the lungs, where is it located in the from the domestic fowl? It's located from the thoracic cavity. Either you see location or position, and what is the function for gas exchange? For gas exchange. Okay, specimen D. Specimen D. What is specimen D? Um, this is the gizzard of a domestic fowl. Uh, I don't have much to say on the gizzard, but you'll be able to know the location and what is the functions. The function of the liver is mechanical digestion of food. And if, as in the next slide, I will explain uh, other parts if necessary. Oh, the, the E, whole intestine of a domestic fowl. Um, the intestine is talking about both the both the large intestine and the large intestines and the small intestine. Able to draw it, but it not, I don't think it's necessary, but you can learn it. This is the pictorial view. Now, uh, about four parts, four parts that that make up the the the, the goats of bed that is uh, domestic fowl is being used here. So I want to in form of a comparison or to what uh, their location and function. The first one is the liver specimen B is located in the abdominal cavity. Please note that, and you know what is the function of the liver? It's many functions. And C, C is the thoracic cavity, that is for lungs, thoracic cavity, uh, for gas exchange and respiration. And the gizzard, the gizzard, where is it located? It's abdominal region between the crop and the intestine. As I mentioned, for mechanical digestion of food, the intestine, where is it located? Also in abdominal region for digestion and absorption of food. Digestion and absorption of food take place in this place. Even assimilation take place here. The blood cell. Now, um, the next specimen, the next specimen identify the next specimen. Um, specimen F. Specimen F is ginger rhizomes, rhizomes, rhizomes on the ground root rhizome. 
which uh, division and class use division for plant, angiospermatophyta for higher plants, or you call it magnoliophyta, class lilopsida, mode of propagation, it can be pro mode of propagation, the rhizomes, uh, agricultural classification, rhizomes, life cycle classification, perennial plant, observable features, presence of scaly leaf, bodies present, internal and node are present, adventitious roots are also present, the pictorial view, this one is about to, oh, it's germinating already. What a wonderful plant. Um, the next uh, specimen, specimen G, onion bulb, uh, division also angiospermatophyta, class lipsida, mode of propagation board. You take time to read this thing. You can screenshot it, take time and read it. Um, you can see the agricultural classification board, um, um, life cycle classification is very near two years, and you see observable features. Please take note. The onions board, you may ask to have a, a longitudinal section or cross section, but mainly they will ask for longitudinal section. That is, as you can see here, you cut the onions like this to be able to reveal the internal structure. And when it's being caught, you will see a structure like this, please. Lines of labor must be equal, rule with a straight line, and it must have a title, must have a magnification. It must have a magnification. We have, um, but the best flesh, these are the observable features you can see from onion bulb. Now, the next uh, specimen, specimen H, uh, leaf of bryophyllum, bryophyllum, okay? Uh, the same class, uh, magnoliopsida, division, and geospermatophyta. What is the mode of propagation? It's propagated by the leaf. The spreading of advantageous bud at the margin of the leaf, as you can see from here. This is a fresh view of a bryophyllum. Life cycle is perennial. Uh, observable features, stamina, lateral board, sprout of new area shoot, uh, leaf board, leaf margin are present, okay? You can see the, the, the edge, the edge have a saw-like shape, so this is a bryophyllum. Uh, the next specimen, specimen J, cassava stem, divisions and class, mode of propagation, stem cutting, observable features, leaf, Scars, internodes, or slurry board are present. Uh, you can see uh, the picture, that is uh, the drawing, and this is the live picture of the cassava stem that is already germinating. Okay, specimen K, cassava tuba, uh, observable features, you can see the observable features. Um, observable features is mostly um, brown coloration, it depends on the way it's being planted. And um, just know the economic importance, it serves as food for both humans and animals. There are things I didn't cover here that will be also, you'll be seen, you, you will see in your, in your question. Now, specimen L uh, is talking about the, 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 the thoracic vertebra, okay? Please take note of this drawing. We may be able to draw, drawing and the magnification. Take note of the labeling. Now, the, what is the function of this specimen? Attachment of the ribs. Um, it provides space for attachment of muscles. Please take time to read it. Uh, time to read it. And observable features of, specimen of thoracic vertebra. It have long and prominent neural spine, which project upward. Uh, short transverse process are present. Uh, so make sure you read it has large neural canal. It has large centrum. And you have 12, uh, 12 numbers are present in adult human in case such questions are, are paired. Uh, but in, in the observation, you cannot be able to see the 12 present in adult human because you are not using the thoracic vertebral human. Uh, this is um, humerus humerus, the bones in the hand. Take note of that, read more about that. Uh, specimen N, mango, dry one, dry, the seed is dry. 
uh, know the placentation, as a placentation, know the type of germination, uh, hypogea uh, germination, the hypogea germination, know the uh, method of dispersal can be dispersed by animals, humans, and water. What is the observable features? It have a stony or hard seed coat. Okay. Uh, in case you want to cut it uh, longitudinally to see what is inside, you'll be able to see this surface. Uh, take note of the diagram. Specimen P, femur, femur, the longest. Please take note, read more about that. Uh, specimen Q, um, the lumbar vertebra, the lumbar vertebra, no location, upper abdominal region. Okay. Uh, what is the function? It bear the weight of the body. It, uh, it permit bending and side movement. Uh, know the observable features, very important. Thick and large and thick centrum, large uh, and flat transverse process where develop zygophysis, broad and flat neural span. Please know the diagram, very important. Also, another view, uh, another view, you can, another view of the, it depends on the view, the attitude to draw. Specimen R, orange seed, uh, observable features. You can see the observable features. What is the light brown coloration? Thin seed coat. Epigia germination. Azide plantation. Okay. What type of fruit is orange seed? Is bearing? So in terms of fruit, what types of fruit are found in it is a bearing. Okay. Um, does it have any economic importance? There's going to be a comparison in the next slide. Uh, they will ask you to compare the mango seed. That is the only question I think that will come out, but you can read other comparison between mango seed and that of the orange seed. The seed of mango is bigger, that of orange is smaller. Uh, mango have one seed. Um, um, orange have several, many. If you use multiple, you also get it, but your answer must be on the Wayak marking guard. Stony and hard seed coat. These are thin or membranous seed coat. Okay, thank you. And you can check the end of this lesson. Check the end of the, that is the description of this video. You'll be able to see the question that is being proposed for this, um, for this practical. Thank you for listening and good night. Bye, I still remain Jerome Otiti. Bye.